Well, hello. And welcome to my channel. This is my first ever video. And um, I'm both crazy excited and wildly nervous. But I have so many clients, friends and family, and even people I've met like once on the street or talked to once on the phone, giving one reading to who insist and have been insisting for years that I need to start this channel. So here we go. Um, for starters, what's gonna be on my channel? Well, I'm not sure yet. My abilities are um, the empath, the intuitive, meaning I just know things that I shouldn't possibly or couldn't possibly have known. Um, clairvoyance, I see things. Um, clairaudience, I hear things. Uh, smell things, feel things, know things, intuition, um, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Well, and the channeling, of course, which is, um, the channeling and the clairvoyance and the empathy, empathic abilities, and the intuition, those are like my main ones. All right, so what do I have to offer you? Um, is it going to just be more card readings? Am I just going to whip out some cards, shuffle them in front of you for the next 30 minutes, right? It's like, oh, yeah, let's shuffle the cards for freaking ever, taking up all your time shuffling the cards. Now, granted, there is a lot of benefit to see the cards being shuffled on the, on the channel. However, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of card reading. I don't need cards. And maybe that's egotistical to say, but I really don't. And I'm also not a tarot reader. Um, can I read tarot? I am physically capable of reading tarot. Do I choose to read tarot? Nope. Why? Eh, I do it for myself on occasion, but for you, my new audience and subscribers, I just feel like there's enough tarot readers out there, you don't need another one. So I, I like oracle cards. I do. When I read cards, um, I'll read the energy of the card. What else can I read? Well, very simply, I can read rocks. Okay, crystals for the metaphysical community. And I will be placing these crystals mm, for you in such a way and having you pick one. And then I will read the energy that I read. Um, without cards underneath. So you may come here next week and I may be reading these rocks, rocks or crystals. Um, or I may be reading a couple of cards, but just like one card, but giving you like a good 10 minute reading per card. And not just what the card says, you know, I mean, to be brutally honest, I've thrown the the instruction book looks away long, long ago. But just the energy I read for the people who may or may not have picked this card, I'll read the energy that those people need to hear, whether or not it has anything to do with the card. It's just, you picked this card, or this card, or this rock, and I'll read the energy associated with that, because that's what I do. What is channeling? Well, channeling means that um, I can tune into, it's a lot like being an empath in a way, but on a deeper spiritual level. Um, hmm, that's not quite right either. Um, channeling also, I, a lot of people use the word medium. I've used the word medium many times over the years, um, which means basically I can talk to ghosts. I can talk to spirits, um, I can channel my dog if I wanted to. Although, technically I really don't. Um, I mean, I know what he's thinking most of the time. He adores me. I adore him though, too. Um, but, so, channeling, um, I can channel spirit. Um, whether that is the spirit of someone who's passed on. Um, my guides, your guides, mass consciousness, universal consciousness, um, the universe, gods, goddesses, 
whatever you, the divine, whatever you want to call it, um, I can channel it. Um, sometimes it's very easy for me. Sometimes I don't even like how easy it is for me. Um, and other times it is more difficult. Sometimes um, loved ones who've passed on do not want their, their loved one who's still here in the physical form to have connection with them for multiple reasons. I found that sometimes the, the one who's passed on um, is in a higher place now and realizes that the one human that is still here, the loved one still here, needs to work through their issues on their own possibly. So the spirit who's passed on um, may not want to connect because they know it's for the human the one who's still living to go through what they're going through. And that sucks. It's happened to me. Literally like somebody who's passed on, um, please, 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 please talk to me. And all I get is just like this door, <laughs> just like, nope, sorry, you gotta go through this on your own. You gotta work through this. You gotta go through that darkness. You gotta go through those emotions. So, Sometimes we can't, I can't channel who you want me to channel. I once did this reading for this gentleman. He wanted me to connect with his uncle, um, you know, as a medium. And so I'm sitting there and I'm just, I'm kind of embarrassed. All I can see is this reindeer wearing with, with like black hair, like longer black hair, like kind of swooped back and like chains and I just kept hearing blue suede shoes in the background. And I'm like, what? And I'm like, no. So I, I'm like, sorry, I'm having a little hard time connecting to your uncle is what I told the man. I'm like, just give me a minute. You know, I'm like, I gotta get, I gotta, you know, sit back down and, okay, I'm gonna reground myself, right? Okay, I'm gonna connect to your uncle. All I hear is Elvis in the background and this freaking reindeer. And I'm like, I'm sorry, here's your money back because, and he looks very shocked and he's like, well, you know, that's all right. I understand you can't connect to him. And this, this sound, this, this noise started getting louder and louder and start, I started seeing flashes of Vegas. And then I started seeing the Alaska tundra and I'm like, oh, I'm like, I don't know it. And he's like, he's looking at me, right? And he's like, you okay? <laughs> and I'm like, I am so overwhelmed with these visions of both, of both Las Vegas and Alaska, and I keep seeing Elvis. And, and I, I see this reindeer, and he's dressed as Elvis, and he's singing blue suede shoes, and it's crazy. I know it's not your uncle. He laughs. He starts laughing hysterically, right? His uncle's name was Elvis. Um, he was a professional gambler who, gambler who had lost his life, um, not directly to gambling, but kind of it was related and he died in Alaska and lived most of his life in Alaska. And I learned over the years um, that what I see and what I hear and what I know and what I'm told through spirit channeled is being said to me so that I can pass on to you for a reason. Just for clarification, I'm not a doctor, nor am I a therapist. Um, if you are having personal issues, can you hear the thunder out there? If you're having personal issues or health issues, please consult a physician. What else are we going to do on this channel? Um, looking at my notes here, um, lots of stories. Um, I'm a storyteller, let's be honest. Okay. All right, so leave your suggestions for questions below and any questions. Um, and if there's just, you know, I will try to get to them all eventually, but I'm going to start making a list. Like if you want, you know, what does my boyfriend think of me? What does my girlfriend think about this? What does my significant other think about that? What does my father think about this? You know, or, or what should I do about my career? You know, I send in questions that other readers aren't able to answer. Cause I really feel that I'm going to be able to fill that gap. Um, it's just, I'm kind of that weird person who doesn't really fit into the typical tarot, YouTube tarot readers or whatever else is going on. I, I'm, I'm 
I'm just a little bit different. And that's all there is to it. So um, I really look forward to this journey together. And um, I truly, truly hope that you guys send in lots of comments and suggestions. I'm really excited about this. And I plan on posting at least once a week. Um, I will do most of my videos over the weekend and then edit them and do funky things to them. I'm not really sure. And I'll be posting more than likely on Wednesdays. Um, we'll see. And we'll keep that a little fluid for the, for the first couple weeks. But I really feel, I, I love Wednesdays. Um, hump day. I don't know. I love Wednesdays. So I feel like that's my day to post. And when I get more um, subscribers, um, and more time on my hands, I'll start posting hopefully twice a week, and maybe even at some point I'll be able to get three a week. Um, but currently I'm just going to start with one a week, um, and we'll just see where it goes, you know? Um, so again, subscribe, because let's see who the first subscriber is, right? Um, and follow, and Leave your questions and comments below and suggestions. And I'm going to have also um, in my um, notes or whatever it is at the bottom, um, I'm going to have a, everything's going to be free. I don't plan on using Venmo or anything like that. I'm not going to do a reading for 10 minutes and then say, oh, for you to find out the final answer, you have to pay $10 to read the last 10, to see the last 10 minutes. I'm not going to do that. All right. I'm going to share everything on here. Um, but I am going to always have a, a donate button. And if you feel that my messages, channelings, readings, stories are worthy of a donation, I am grateful for anything you have to donate. Um, so I believe that wraps it up for today and I'm really excited to get this started so blessings to everyone everybody <laughs> and let's go love y'all